So Suicide Silence dropped an album this year entitled Become the Hunter, and I have indeed had the chance to listen to it. For the few who don't know Suicide Silence, they are a metal band that fall into the vibes of deathcore and metalcore. They formed around 2002 and originate in California, and might I say they are one of my favorite bands of the modern era, the 2010 specifically. I have loved majority of their work, with the exception of some work that didn't turn out to be the greatest. Let's not go back to 2017, please. I'm going into this album hoping that it is far better than their self-titled album three years ago. With all honesty, the stuff they put out after Mitch Lucker's passing has been hit or miss. Some of it's been really good, songs like You Can't Stop Me are phenomenal, and some of it's been really bad, songs like Doris. So I was expecting better from this album. You can hear the band trying to make somewhat of a comeback on this record. They're really trying to bring back that old, confident, genuine heavy mood that their earlier work possessed. While it doesn't fully reach that potential, there are moments of greatness, and it is truly a step from their previous album. The intro track, which is important to me, entitled Meltdown, really introduced some new elements layered into their true sound. It's almost haunting, somewhat dark and murderous. The guitar work is just gritty and raw, and it really gave me hope for the rest of the album. And listening to songs like Love Me to Death or Feel Alive really helped sustain that hope. They really showcased that classic, tough guy, catchy breakdown shit that they used to sound like. It's really refreshing to hear, especially on Love Me to Death, the breakdowns on that track are just fucking dope. Another song I really enjoyed on this album is Two Steps. It's an exciting, heavy, fast-paced, blast-beat-infested sludge of awesomeness. I absolutely loved it. Those three songs to me stood out the most. Suicide Silence is really trying to go back to that sound they are best known for, but that's really what works with them. And this album, in my opinion, definitely makes up for the disaster that was their 2017 self-titled album. Somehow they were able to make the album sound refreshing by maintaining their original sound. It's not their best album, but I certainly would not say it is their worst. I did enjoy most of the album, and I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Hopefully it's onwards and upwards for this band's future because I am a longtime fan. Let me know what you think of this album. Thanks for watching. Rock on.